Hey YouTube, this is Tepfek9 and today I'm going to be showing you how to install, how to root your Samsung Galaxy Nexus phone. This will work on the GSM USA model, GSM Unlocked International version, Verizon LTE CDMA, and Sprint LTE CDMA. This will work on any Samsung Galaxy Nexus phone, any one. As you can see, this is, this is the GSM version, but it's compatible with any. This method will work on any. First thing you need to do is, you may have seen this program in other videos, so open that up if you already have it. If you don't, as always, it will be in the description. So we're just going to be opening that up, and you will get all these options. Now don't be overwhelmed, I will explain everything. Now you, you have lots of options. You have whatever, your GSM model. So if you have GSM, then you'll be choosing the first one or the second one. If you have Ryzen, obviously you'll be choosing that one. If you have Sprint, you'll be choosing only that one. So Find the right section for your phone. Once you got that selected, you're going to be going into your phone and finding the right build number and Android version. So we're just going to go into settings and about phone, all the way at the bottom. And you can see here, mine is 4.0.4 and the build number is IMM76D. So you can set your phone aside now and we'll be going back into the computer program. Now mine is 4.4 build IMM 760, so I'm going to be choosing 5 enter. Choose the correct one for your phone. So 5 enter. Now it says this. First thing we need to do is unlock the bootloader. So we're going to be choosing 3 enter. It says are you sure? You're going to choose yes. Enter. Waiting for device. Now we're going to be going into the phone. So we're going to be just plugging in the phone to the computer and the other side via micro USB to the phone. Let me zoom out a little bit. All right. Now we're going to be powering off first. Now we'll be holding down the volume up, volume down and power button all at the same time. Just keep holding it down until you get to the start screen. Alright, start screen. Now set your phone aside. And you can see here, it says completed. You can see here, it just said completed and it said returning back to the main menu. So now, your bootloader is now unlocked as you can see right there. If it does focus right there, Lock, lock state unlocked. That means your bootloader is unlocked. And now we can root the phone. So now we are going to go to root your phone. That is 4 enter. Choosing 4 and enter. It says, Are you sure you want to? Let it focus. Alright. Are you sure you want to? You're going to choose yes, enter. Alright, now it says, Rebooting finished total time. Blah, blah, blah. Procedure will continue in 30 seconds. And let me. Zoom out and show you what's happening to my phone right by it. As you can see, it is rebooting now. And after it's done rebooting, we have to go into debugging, USB debugging mode. Alright, now it says waiting for USB debugging to be enabled. So now we're going to be going into settings. Settings, all the way to developer options, and then we're going to be enabling USB debugging. This is okay. Now you can set your phone aside. It says now continuing in 10 seconds, so wait 10 seconds. All right, now it's rooting your phone. It's flashing the new boot image. And now it's rebooting. Finish time is 0.796 seconds, not even one second. So once it's done rebooting, I will show you with super user access and all that. 
that it just asks for that X permission. All right. Now I have Titanium Backup already installed, so let's open that up and see if it's asked. All right. First, let's go. All right. Let's go into Super. Oh. All right. We have to wait till it's done rebooting. Right, so let's just wait one more time. And now after this time of reboot it will work. Sorry about that guys. There you go, it's upgrading or updating, whichever we want to call it. Now let's try super user. Let's just open up the super user app. You can get this free from the Play Store. Alright, so you got that. No apps are there. Let's go into Titanium Backup. And it says, it, right there, I'll show you. Super user request. I'm going to allow it. And it's checking. Now I got super user or root access. Super user access. Okay. Okay. And I can do all that. I can do everything in Titanium Backup and any other root app. So thanks for watching guys, this was Tech Fanatic, Tech Fanatic 9, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe as it does help me out a lot, and don't forget to check out my website right here in the corner, androidtech.blogspot.com, for great reviews, tutorials, and articles just like these, if you, if you think I'm talking too fast, or if you don't understand something, it's all typed out and explained, so check that out, and the article will be in the description as soon as I post it up, which will be within a couple days, so thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it.